Have you ever had sex without a condom? Yes. Was it with your girlfriend? Every time. Are your grandparents still alive? Yeah, all four of them. Where did you grow up? Sherwood, Indiana. A wealthy town? No, oh, my parents are wealthy. Why do you want to do this? Lesbians are cool. Yeah, I just want to help you out. Um, you, you know that you wouldn't actually be having sex with us. Well, then how are we going to get you two pregnant? Okay. Goodbye. What's it for? Are you gonna get out? I'm sorry Eric kicked your ass. Sorry I fought for you. I deserve that. It was a bit harsh, but a bitch slap is good once in a while. I found I liked you. I've met a lot of beautiful girls in this town and you're not one of them. Whoa. What I, what I mean is you're funny, you're beautiful, you're your own person. You're real. Well, thank you. But I already know all these things. <laughs> <laughs> See, you make me laugh. You girls don't do that. It probably sucks worse I can't have you. I don't know what I want. I think I'm growing up. <laughs> Friends? Friends. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your parents? Um. Well, um, I don't really know my mother or my father. I was raised by my aunt and uncle. My mom recently woke up from the dead, but have no contact with her. Um, woke up from the dead? All my life I was told that my mother was dead. But then earlier this year she reappeared and said, surprise, not dead. Very dramatic. Wow, sounds like a soap opera. Um, you're gay, Jairus? I only recently came out. A lot of drama in my first year. Do you remember that time, Gary? I remember my first year. I loved it. I mean, it was scary, but fun. Uh, I'm also a writer. Uh, that is to say, I'm learning to be a writer, but I did bring uh, one of my recent stories about gay marriage in case you wanted to read it. You know, you have great bone structure. <laughs> You're hired. Maybe we should talk about this first? <laughs> what is there to talk about? I mean, he's creative, he's smart, he's handsome. Well, I'm, we'd have to talk to our lawyer first and, and get to know Jairus a little bit. Okay. Are you sure you want to be a father? I'm not going to be a father. Uh... I'm helping you, and you're helping me. <laughs> they took me away in handcuffs like I was some common criminal. They arrested you? Well, Tyler's dad works for the DA's office, so... He made a phone call, and they let us go. No charges? Nope. They actually apologized. <laughs> what about the drugs? We didn't do any. I was stalling, waiting for you, when the next thing we knew, we heard the sirens and saw the lights, so we ran down from the roof. Wow. Lucky break. Yeah, luckiest for you. Where'd you go, anyway? I, uh, went to call Zane and check in. He wasn't feeling too well, so I decided I needed to go home. I tried to call you so we could leave together. My phone didn't ring. Yeah, well, I tried to call you. Okay, but only once? You were just gonna leave me on the roof with some junkies? <laughs> Jesus, Devin, stop being so dramatic. You've been spending far too much time with your beloved Jairus. Watch it, Nate. Ooh. I'm serious, what's your deal? I thought we were trying to be friends. We are. Well, it feels different. You stabbed me in the back, Devin. 
guess karma just wasn't moving fast enough to satisfy me. And what does that mean? You're pretty and smart. We'll figure it out. Gotta go. Wait, Nate. I got your card. Hello? Hello, Devin. This is Jairus' Aunt Darlene. I have something really important to give you, to give to Jairus. You want me to come to Phoenix? Yeah. He's gonna need your support once he gets it. Can you come over my house? I'll give you my address. Uh, all right. I, uh, guess I'll be there by morning. Great. Go grab a pen. Whoa, oh, what? What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you about Jairus. I know you're his best friend. I don't think Jairus wants to know you right now, Lisa. I understand that. Okay, listen, I spent a long weekend with my parents, so I'm not into defending parents, if you can understand that. Parents just want what's best for their kids. Mm, well, not the Morgans, they just do what's success. Still, parents want what's best. Wait, wait, did, did you just say Morgan? Yes, that is my name. Rhonda Morgan. See you later, Lisa.